So with this next theorem, we are now going to be able to express some fundamental relationships involving the subspaces associated with an M by N matrix. So here's our theorem. We want to let A be an M by N matrix. And this theorem tells us two things. The first thing it tells us is that the orthogonal complement of the row space of matrix A is in fact equal to the null space of matrix A. The second thing that this theorem tells us is that the orthogonal complement of the column space of matrix A is in fact equal to the null space of the transpose of matrix A. So before we go ahead and explore some of these fundamental relationships, let's verify that this theorem in fact holds true. So to begin, let's of course let A be an M by N matrix, and let's also go ahead and let vector X be a vector in Rn. Now, part one, our goal is to show that the orthogonal complement of the row space of matrix A is in fact equal to the null space of matrix A. So here we go. Let's suppose that vector X is in the orthogonal complement of the row space of matrix A. Then by definition, we know that vector X is orthogonal to every vector in the row space of matrix A. Now, this statement is true if and only if matrix A times vector X is equal to the zero vector, which implies that vector X must be in the null space of matrix A. Oops, we did it, woohoo! We've shown that if vector X is in the orthogonal complement of the row space of matrix A, then vector X it must be in the null space of matrix A, confirming equivalence. Now for part two, we want to show that the orthogonal complement of the column space of matrix A is equal to the null space of the transpose of matrix A. So again, let's begin by supposing that vector X is in the orthogonal complement of the column space of matrix A. Now, since we know that the column space of matrix A is equal to the row space of the transpose of matrix A, this implies that vector X is in the orthogonal complement of the row space of A transpose. Then by definition, we know that this means that vector X is orthogonal to every vector in the row space of A transpose, which equals the column space of matrix A. Now, this statement is true if and only if the transpose of matrix A times vector X equals the zero vector, which by definition implies that vector X is in the null space of A transpose. Oops, we did it again, woohoo! So we've shown here that vector X being in the orthogonal complement of the column space of matrix A implies that vector X is in the null space of a transpose, confirming equivalence, which completes our proof. So this last theorem allows us to conclude that an M by N matrix A has four subspaces, the row space of A, the null space of matrix A, the column space of matrix A, and the null space of the transpose of matrix A. The first two subspaces are called the orthogonal complements in Rn, and the second two subspaces are called the orthogonal complements in Rm. Now, this M by N matrix A defines a linear transformation from Rn to Rm whose range is the column space of matrix A. So moreover, this linear transformation maps the null space of matrix A to the zero vector in Rm. So these four subspaces make up what we call the fundamental subspaces of an M by N matrix. So let's go ahead now and continue to explore these fundamental subspaces with the following examples.